Yeah, hello everyone. Um, who of you actually already knows us so that I... All right, okay, Qu quite good. I could almost leave already again and uh, give you some, some of your time back. But uh, for those of you who don't know us, so we're a search engine uh, that plants trees. How does that work? So basically, um, you just type in your search term uh, like in any other search engine, and then when you hit enter, we show you search results. Um, and also right next to these search results, we show advertisements. So until here, everything is normal, like you would uh, do on, on Google as well. But the big difference actually between us and Google is that we use the profits from these advertisements to plant trees. And this is how we've already planted over 80 million trees so far, which I think is quite awesome. So, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so why are we planting trees? Um, trees of course, um, are beautiful, but uh, they also have a lot of uh, positive factors uh, for the people and the planet as well. So we, by planting trees, we can turn landscapes like this on the left into landscapes like this on the right. And if we do that, we not only generate income for the people who are planting trees, but the people then can actually generate additional income from harvesting products from the trees or like uh, nuts or fruits. And also, the trees are extremely beneficial for the local biodiversity and also for the local water cycle. So really what we're doing when we're planting trees, we are kickstarting an improvement process in an entire area. And of course, trees are also extremely good at capturing CO2. We've talked about a few, or we just heard about technologies, future technologies, but trees are actually already an existing technology that's extremely effective at absorbing CO2. We have tree planting projects where we're capturing a ton of CO2 for less than $2, which is just mind-boggling. And what I think is especially impressive about trees is how we could easily scale this up. So what you see here on this map in the green areas are areas where trees can and should be planted without any negative effects. And we actually have space for one trillion trees on this planet. And if we would plant these one trillion trees, we would absorb hundreds of gigatons of CO2. And these hundreds of gigatons is exactly what we're still missing if we're reducing our own emissions to, to hit the 1.5 degrees Celsius uh, target. So we're not only, we would not only to a large extent solve climate change, but we'll also address poverty, uh, biodiversity crisis, and so on. So trees are awesome. Uh, and I could talk about trees for uh, the entire day, but I won't. I also want to tell you a bit about us uh, as a company. So, um, yeah, we're a search engine, uh, we're making 25 million in revenue, we have 50 million active users at the moment, and we're the 931st biggest website on the planet. Um, that also makes us the biggest uh, European search engine. Of course, uh, I don't want to lie to you, compared to Google, we're still rather small. Um, we're doing that with a rather small team of only 50 people. And last year, really seen amazing growth of 180%, which is awesome. But again, our main KPI is these 80 million trees, which is really what's driving us. So we're a typical Berlin startup. Um, we have all the fancy things that you need as a Berlin startup, a, a hip office, a free breakfast, and a ping pong table, and uh, screens that look like the Matrix. So we have all that. Um, but we also are these people. So um, apart from our team, of 50 people in the office, we have actually thousands of people who are working in the tree planting projects, and these are actually the people who are doing the hard work for us. So, yeah, and for me as a CEO of a company, a tech company that plants trees, uh, I, I, yeah, I have the pleasure to visit these two worlds. Uh, this picture was actually taken on my last trip to Indonesia when I was sitting on a pickup truck, and just a few minutes later, the pickup truck was going through a river and then washed away, and we all landed in the water which was not that fun uh, in this particular moment, but now, of course, it's quite a fun story. Um, I'm saying this because I really uh, live in a world where I am basically living in a high-tech startup world, and, but at the same time, we're working also with very, very low-tech solutions. And I think the answers that we're finding because of that are very, very interesting. Um, but we're not only trying to plant trees, we actually also, last year, we invested millions of euros in uh, solar energy plants uh, to provide all the power for our servers uh, from our own solar energy plants. Um, and we're also talking to a lot of companies and tell them, if we can do it, then you can do it as well. And one of our biggest partners is Microsoft, actually, and we hope that to a large extent, uh, we also influenced Microsoft's uh, decision on, on their uh, carbon uh, strategy. So yeah, we, we actually found a lot of the suggestions that we made in the release that was made two years ago. So that also made us very happy that we as a small 
company can have a lot of impact on, on others as well. Um, what we also did, what you, some of you, especially the German audience, might know us for, um, we tried to save uh, the forest of Hambach. Uh, so forest of Hambach is an ancient forest that is located right to Germany's biggest... Uh, <laughs> Um, so it's located right to next uh, one of the biggest coal mines in the, on the planet, actually. And uh, the company wanted, who was running that coal mine, wanted to cut it down. And we th thought this was a bad idea, of course, because, because we like trees, but we also don't like coal very much. Um, so actually, we made an official offer to RWE, the company owning um, that forest, and we wanted to buy it from them. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't accept. Um, but uh, we had a lot of press talking about this. And this, again, asked the question, if in the era of climate change, if you own an ancient forest, are you still allowed to cut it down to burn coal afterwards? This just totally doesn't make sense. And of course, there were a lot of other people involved, but I, had, I felt like we were also contributing. And uh, basically, now by now, I think we can safely say that the forest of Hambach is going to stay, hopefully forever, which is really great. Um, <laughs> So um, one other thing that we're trying to solve or improve is capitalism, I would say. Um, so by now, some of you have or own or manage a lot of money, and maybe you want to buy us now uh, because we're such an interesting company. I have to disappoint you, but uh, this is not possible. Um, <laughs> So what, uh, what we did, we turned Ecosia, which was a normal, uh, a normal LLC company, so a, a normal business, you could say, we turned it into one of the first purpose companies. So what is a purpose company? We basically gave away most of our shares to a foundation, and this foundation will now make sure that we can never sell the company and we can never take any profit out of the company and that it can never be controlled by externals. So even if Google, Microsoft, or anybody else would come tomorrow and put $10 billion on the table, I could not even say yes, because it's legally not possible. And I, also, I wouldn't do it anyways, but... <laughs> And what I think is really great about that, I mean, is it got us a lot of press and a lot of people were talking about this, but now I really have so many entrepreneurs who are coming to me and asking for advice and who want to actually do the same thing that I really have the feeling that something new is starting here. I mean, 99.9% .9 of the planet is still running on this principle that we have to maximize profit and so on, but there is something happening, uh, and I really find this movement very, very promising because I think this could actually be the answer to turbo capitalism and some of the problems that it's, that it's causing. So I'm super happy about that. So in summary, one could say everything is, everything is great. Uh, Ecosia is doing really well, and I'm happy about it. But of course, uh, you probably have seen this picture before. Who, who knows what this is? Just shout it, yes. Say, come on. <laughs> Temperature, yes, this is global temperature um, rise uh, during the last decades, um, and it's not looking good. Uh, and I think many people, maybe after the talks you've heard here now, um, you've updated your knowledge, but there's still a lot of people who think climate change only means that temperatures, that it will get a little bit warmer. That's not the case. Climate change could actually mean that within 100 years, our planet might be uninhabitable. So. We're talking about billions of people dying. We have never seen something like this in the history of the planet before. And I don't want to be around when, when really yeah, stuff is happening. So I'm super happy that this last, last year for me, that was uh, the year when people were finally waking up. So I've been working on Ecosia for 10 years now, and I always ask myself, why, why aren't people talking about this? Why isn't everybody worried about climate change? And last year, thanks to Greta and, and a lot of other people as well, really society started waking up, and that made me really happy. And what I think is that we really, really need a revolution. So we need changes in all sectors of society and of our economy, and this needs to happen very, very soon. Um, and uh, yeah, the best picture that I know from uh, when we're talking about revolutions is this from Delacroix, uh, and that was about the French Revolution, and I really hope that this revolution won't happen, won't happen with weapons. Um, and I also hope that Ecosia can be a role model, so I used my Photoshop skills to update that picture a little bit. So, there you go. Um, 
<laughs> so yes, I hope that we, uh, that we as a cozy, as a company, but also we as individuals can really be role models because we need change and we want to yeah, help uh, people do that change. And if you want to help us, then you can basically now just grab your phones and install the Ecosia app on your phone, and then, uh, yeah, then let's plant some trees together. Thank you very much. Applause